Welcome to YouTube Excel Finance Trick number 12. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Finance Tricks 1 to 17. Hey, in number 12, we're going to click on the SLN and DDB. It actually, that actually should be DDB for double declining balance because we got to talk about depreciation. Sometimes with cash flow analysis, you need to consider depreciation. So in this video, we'll just look at a, uh, a simple version of straight line depreciation and double declining balance. Here it is. I'm going to click in this cell. I have the asset value, the salvage, and the life. Those are the inputs needed to calculate. SLN, it wants cost, salvage, and life. I got a cost. I got a salvage. Ooh, what's salvage? Hey, that's at the end of its life. What is it worth? Comma, and then life. I have years, so that means the period is years, so this will be depreciation for a year. And that is all 20 years are going to get the same exact amount. By the way, for financial accounting, of course, depreciation expense is matched to the revenues in accordance to the revenue generating pattern. So that means if there's the same amount of revenue every year, then straight line's appropriate. However, there are some other situations where the rev revenue generating patterns, such as a piece of equipment that generates most of the revenues in the early years and then not very much later on, then you need to to create your depreciation expense to match that pattern. So you want something like double declining balance, which will calculate a much bigger expense in the earlier years. Here it is, equals DDB. And this one's just as easy and straightforward. Cost, comma, salvage. That's how much is left over that we are predicting it will be worth in va value at the end of its life, comma, we have our life. And our period, oh, here, because it's going to change over time. So we had to have our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to, to 20 years. And then comma, the factor, if uh, you leave it out, it's 2. Um, I'm going to click here so that way we can change it. It could be 1.5 or 3 or whatever. Close parentheses and Control Enter. I'm going to double click and send that field handle down. Oh, yuck, look at all that. With that range still highlighted, notice there's a light colored cell at the top. I'm going to hit F2. And yeah, this is a duh. Forgot to lock. So I'm going to click right there. And then I'm going to hit my F4 key to put a dollar sign in front of the number because I'm copying down across the rows. And then this uh, C6, which is the salvage, F4 key twice. Then I'm going to click right there for the 20 for the years. I need to F4 twice. Finally, for the B13, don't need to lock that. I want that a relative cell reference. And then C11, I'll hit the F4 key twice. Now, notice this whole range was highlighted. When I hit F2, the cell at the top became editable. Now that I've edited it to populate all the highlighted cells, I hold Control and tap Enter. And there we go. There's our double declining balance. All right, we'll see you next Excel Finance Trick.